another episode of Steve Perry News. Hope you've been doing okay. And I'd like to say get well soon to Stanley Mouse. Uh, Steve Perry posted about him recently. Uh, you know, of course, he's the, the artist that did all the covers for Journey albums like Escape and Infinity, the greatest hits, you know, albums like that. Does a wonderful job. Uh, he had a stroke and now he's unable to use his hand. He can't paint like he used to. I'm hoping, praying that he can get back to that and, and you know, hoping all the best for him. And uh, so this week was the 29th anniversary of You Better Wait from the For the Love of Strange Medicine album by Steve and uh, a song that went to number 29 on the charts. Um, great album, great song, though. A great way to come back. It kind of sounds like a Journey song. Great band, those guys. But was that song a hint to Journey? And you say, well, there is a song on that album that is about journey it's called anyway i'd like to say i'm sorry i'd like to make amends i close my eyes and tell the truth where would i begin yep that's about journey but you know in a interview i saw recently i've been going back watching these old interviews during that era he says that he just wanted to make amends and say hey let's be at peace he didn't say anything about joining rejoining journey at that point uh, he said, because a lot of times when you do want to make peace with those guys, they'll take it as he wants to record music, and he just didn't want to do that. So th now remember, he recorded that album with that in mind, and this was this interview was close to the fall of '94. So he remember that now. He's thinking that. That's his thinking. He don't want a reunion. Fall '94. Okay, then uh, fast forward to the, end, uh, the beginning of March in 95, and I did a video about it. You know, why did Steve cut his For the Love of Strange Medicine tour short? Yeah, check out that video. I'll put it in the link. I'll put a link in the description of this video that with uh, that interview uh, that Steve did in Canada that talks about some of the things I'm going to talk about here. Uh, but he stopped that tour because he was sick, first of all. But in the Sun Times Sentinel, I think there was an article. I think that was the name of the, the uh, paper. I put that link in my that video that I just told you about a few years ago. Now that link is no longer valid. It like disappeared. <laughs> but I can tell you what the article said. And I told you in that video, you can watch that. But in that article, it said that his record label reached out to Steve. Now that's Columbia Records bought by Sony same record label as journey they said hey what you doing out there on tour you got to come make a journey album huh so if he wasn't wanting to rejoin journey in the fall of 94 and suddenly in march he's told he has to go and record a journey album it doesn't sound like it was his idea and you say well you know, maybe there's more to the story than him calling up Jonathan Kane and saying, hey, I want to get the band back together. Maybe there's some more to it. Because there's your proof. I mean, that, that actually did happen. He actually did do those things. He actually cut it short. And the the record label called him, wanting him to, to record uh, with Journey. So uh, you say, huh. So that's got you thinking, right? But also in that video, that uh, interview that Steve did, uh, in Canada that I put the link in there. He's talking about the band. He's asked about the band, you know, about a reunion. And, and Steve says that the band is trying to authorize the name Journey. You know, legally, there's some legal things going on there. He didn't say anything about that, but he, you know, was talking about they were getting the band together with a singer that sounded like Steve, in their opinion, he said. Pretty sure that was Kevin Shelfont of The Storm. So they're getting the band back together. It's the fall of 94. Steve doesn't want to rejoin. So they're getting, they're kind of doing what they did later about cracking the stone. Right? So they're, they're going to get Kevin to be the lead singer of Journey. Well, something happened in between that time and March 
maybe Steve said, you better wait. And he got a lawyer and maybe they fixed that. And maybe the record company said, you got to do one more album or you got to do, you know, you did your solo. We know you can sing. We know you can tour. Let's get this album. Something legal went on. A lot of stuff happened. We don't know the whole story. It would be cool if Steve would write a book and tell some things. He don't have to, but those are just facts. Steve did say that, and you'll find that out, that they were going to form a band without him. And, of course, you know, the rest is history. He hurt his hip. Ironically, just like he left the tour early, he got hurt and couldn't tour, so they moved on without him. Yep. So You Better Wait has a different meaning, right? Something to think about. Just let that <laughs> go around in your mind for a little bit because there's a lot to the story we don't know. kind of changes the way you look at things. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And uh, go to my other channel, Real Music with Gary Stuckey, and subscribe there. I appreciate you. Hey, don't stop believing. God bless you.